They've won eight of their last 11 games. The Twins currently sit third in the AL Central standings, six games back from the Cleveland Guardians. Minnesota wrapped up its three-game series with the Houston Astros this afternoon. The series is currently tied at one apiece. Just four pitches into the game, the Twins would take the lead as Trevor Larnick, who gets a hold of this one and crushes it over the wall in right center. It's his sixth home run of the year. Minnesota would have a 2-0 lead into the second inning, but Victor Caratini would cut into the deficit for the Astros. It's a solo home run of his own. This makes it 2-1. How about another bomb? It's the Astros again in the bottom of the third inning. Alex Begman, he hit, helps himself to a two-run shot. This puts the Astros ahead 3-2. It was just home runs galore in this one. Still down one in the top of the six, Jose Miranda goes yard. His solo shot makes it a tie ball game at three apiece. The Twins would add one more in the top of the eighth. They go ahead and win this one four to three in Houston. In Northwoods League Baseball, the Larks win their third straight. They top the Minot Hot Tots five to four. The Big Sticks win six to two in Duluth. With six state championships happening across the state, it's safe to say that it was a busy weekend for high school sports in North Dakota. There were many new state champions crowned, a few that extended their streak, and a few that were knocked off their perch. One team that was dethroned, if you will, was Minot's girls soccer team. The Majets entered the state title game with a 19-0 record, having conceded only one goal all season, which was against Fargo North in the state quarterfinals on Thursday. The last team a Minot High girls soccer team had lost a game. Well, that would have to be all the way back into the state championship game of the 2019 season. The team had won an astounding 70 straight games coming into this year's state title game with hopes of making it four state championships in a row. But Fargo Davies had other ideas. The Eagles would hand the Majets their first loss in five years. They win this one 2-1 to one over Minot. Davies senior Madison Barnick scored both goals in yesterday's game. Hear what she had to say after picking up the massive win. It feels really good because we lost last year on our own turf, so being able to just take a win and just finish it with this team is really amazing. A team searching for its first ever state title yesterday afternoon was the Legacy Sabres. They faced Shanley in the Class A Baseball State Championship game, and things ultimately wouldn't fall the Sabres' way. With the Deacons taking an early lead and then never looking back, it's Shanley's second ever state title in baseball and their first since 2019. Senior Tommy Simon hit a solo home run in the second inning. He says it felt like a long time coming for this ball team. Pretty friggin' awesome. I've been uh, I've been a part of two uh, runner-up teams and the team that didn't go to state. I should have been at state, so uh, this was this was a long time coming. So it feels pretty good. On the Class B side of baseball, the Thompson Tommies kept their dynasty alive. The Tommies beat the Grafton Spoilers via walk-off to win their third straight state championship in Class B baseball. The Dickinson Midgets were the reigning state champions in Class A softball. The team earned the number one seed from the West after beating Minot in last weekend's WDA championship. Bismarck High was the four seed from the West, and they made a surprising run all the way to the title game. They'd get off to a hot start, too, taking a 2-0 lead over the Midgets while holding them hitless until the fifth inning. From there, though, it would be all Dickinson. The Dickinson Midgets go back-to-back -to, -back to win their third title in Class A softball in the past four years. In Class B softball, the Kindred Richland Vikings won their fourth overall title. They beat Central Cass 6-1 in yesterday's Class B state championship game. In girls tennis, Paige McCormick from Davies is the singles champion after beating Soraya Gu from Cheyenne. Mandan Sophia Felderman finished third. Summerfield and Durrani from Cheyenne were the doubles champions. They beat Legacies McPherson and Severson in the title game. So yes, Emmeline, a big weekend 